Well, the Rico is ready to roll here tonight on a Wednesday as Louis Domingue gets the call for Ben Gruz, Syracuse Crunch. Now well, he's won his last two games and now two and two on the season and trying to get some confidence under his belt. And uh, I know Coach Ben Gruz saying that he really likes what he's seen so far from the youngster. And at the Toronto end of the ice, you got the gentleman who's looking to extend his win streak to five straight. He's eight and one, eight and one in his last nine, and he's the guy in charge of trying to establish a new team record here tonight if the Marlies can come away with another victory and make it eight in a row. Three on two back the other way, but the pass under Moore's stick. He races back after it. The Marlies interested in some changes. And back through the middle. Conacher with speed, following it up. Ernie, there's the shot, scores! A blistering shot by Di Domenico, the new acquisition as the Syracuse Crunch get on the board first at 10.35 of the first period. Brooks turns around. He's going to get back to that puck as it comes up along the near side. Hall gets a hold of it, comes in close, waits, shoots, loose up front, and it's knocked away as Dominic Machine and Louis Domingue combine to keep that one out of the Syracuse goal. Gathered in and back up ice it comes. Long pass. Di Domenico deep into the corner after it. Round behind the goal, Hall tips it back, but it doesn't get to Moore. Now picking it up, Mueller, long pass, Timoshoff in behind everybody, Timoshoff, backhander, stop! Moore tries to gather it up, but it is played back out by Ben Thomas. Along to Conacher, he drifts along the line and then decides to send it back up high to McBain. McBain misplays it, and now here comes Goche on a break, shorthanded, Fred Goche backhand! Stopped by Deming, who's had to come, had to stop a couple of breakaways, and he's done just that. Wow, that's a big save right there by Louis Deming. Back through the middle, Brooks coming back into the play, knocked off the stick to the far side, trying to get it back out front, carrying it out front, shot ripped out of the air by Sparks. And just 10 seconds to go on the five-minute major, so the Marlies. Do an excellent job of not allowing a opportunity to get by their goaltender. Out front, good chance. Spark scores. And that one may not actually be a power play goal. We'll have to see where they time it out, but it's nine minutes off the clock. Marchment, the door had opened, but nonetheless, the crunch up 2 0 with the goal wow. by Lynch. Some tight checking as it's lifted back the other way and right onto the stick. Here's a chance. Ernie back in and stopped by Sparks. Ernie wants a penalty. Not going to get it. Picked up by Altonen, chasing it into the corner. Travis Derma. He's got Kapanen on the far side. Long pass. Kapanen across the line. Kasperi Kapanen back in. He tried to sneak it under the left pad. Not oh, to be had. Man, what an opportunity by Kapanen. As Bordemal plays it back out. And Stevens, boy, he's racing to it. Comes off the wall, hard shot. Misses and comes back up along the near side. Here's Smith across the blue line with Lilligren. Back over Lilligren up high. Dermot, Smith to Lilligren as Lilligren looks out front. Scores! Frederick Goche on a beautiful pass from Timothy Lilligren. A power play goal brings the Marlies to within one of the Syracuse Crunch here in the third period. He's Dermot to Lilligren, and then Lilligren trying to go right through the blue paint. It goes off the skate of Freddie Gauthier, and he's going to get his first goal of the year, a power play tally, and the Toronto Marlies are on the board. Sheldon Keith has put this team through some winning streaks, that's for sure. That's what you gather from that. Here's Lilligren. Yes, all Walks four of those seven-game streaks. Back in, puts it out front, loose puck, trying to jam at it is Marchman, and he's knocked down on it as Mueller involved wow. in that one. That was an unbelievable save off the stick of Ben Smith by the right pad of Louis Domingue Here's a to keep this for game 2-1. Looking over was Pekka as Thomas comes to it, sends it over to the far side. Back toward the goal. Sparks trying to gather it in, still loose, and... The whistle on the play has got to well, get Garrett the folks Sparks on the bench. Continuing to make sure that his club has an opportunity to battle back. Alternate sharply to Dermot. Throws it down toward the goal, and the loose puck, Janssen picks up. 
Gets pursued down into the corner and uh, works it up along the near boards. Back for Dermott and knocked past Dermott and Conacher was off and running and doesn't matter anyway. Threw it in towards the goal in the empty netter. As Conacher will get credit here to make it 3-1 with less than a minute to go. Well, with four consecutive wins now, Syracuse, and they beat Rochester, Wilkes-Barre twice, and now the Toronto Marlies. So they're starting to gain some momentum, so, uh, no question about it. And uh, their goaltending issues seem to be uh, solved with Louis Domingue and uh, the crunch. Uh, you know what? They, they, this was a really good hockey game. Uh, but, you know, they, they, they worked hard, both these clubs. And uh, it was just one of those ones where a couple of dandy saves was the difference, and that was Louis Domingue in this one.